Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Here we are in our quarters in Jubilee Village. Uh, let's go check out what is going on today. So, let's head to the front gate. All right, what's going on? There is a massive, massive outbreak in the Meyerlands, and really not a whole lot of anything else going on. Huh. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead to the, to the field lands, because we're actually really close to actually filling up our Pokedex. Now, we already caught them all, but... We need to do some more research on one specific Pokemon, Giratina. So we want to use Shadow Claw, Strong and Agile moves. Alright, so let's go add Giratina to our team. Sorry Garchomp, but you're going to have to be boxed temporarily uh, while we do a little bit of training for Giratina. Uh, one thing we're probably going to want to do is... Um, not battle normal types. Here we go. And Shinx, I am really sorry, but you're not going to like what's going to happen here. Go for a strong Shadow Claw. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Alright, hello there, Shinx. Take an Agile Shadow Claw, why not? Why not? Alright. Awesome! Alright, what else can we do? Hello there, Wormful. Let's go for an Agile Shadow Claw right here. That looks like it hurt. Oops. Alright. Shinx, I don't think you're gonna like the Shadow Claw. Get the feeling it's gonna hurt a little bit, but that's okay. All right. There we go. Let's go for a strong one. You're Tina putting in the work. All right. Let's do one more strong style one. Because this is clearly overkill. Clearly overkill, but, you know, um, we needed the research. Okay, so we got a bunch of stamps now. I think, yes, yeah, seven tasks completed. I think we're actually good to go. All right, let's get back to camp then. All right, so I see your Pokemon research is coming along nicely. May I record your findings? Sure. Mm-hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update their Pokedex with the new data. So Giratina loses its legs upon changing into this form. I believe this Pokemon must hail from a world where the heavens and the earth are as one, though I have no way of proving it. Okay. Um... Okay, cool. Completed some research there. 
Nice. Got 70, 170 points. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. Splendiferous results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silene, eh? I'd get right on that if I were you. Hmm. Oh my, could it be? We... We finally did it! At long last, the Pokedex is well and truly complete. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I started studying Pokemon. I don't believe I'll ever be able to thank you enough for making my dream a reality. For now, though, we have an announcement to make. I'm sure everyone will be overjoyed to hear of the Pokedex's completion. Do let me know when you're ready, my boy. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory. So... What would you like to do? Well, first, before we do that, let's get Garchomp back on our team. So, there we go. Awesome. All right. So, let's get back to the village. Right ho, my boy! All right. So we want to head to the galaxy, uh, the galaxy building. Because the professor and Captain Silene are waiting for us. Hello. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me the Pokedex. We have a completed Pokedex. We didn't complete every single task for every single Pokemon, but we have completed it nonetheless. We got 10... Rank 10 for every Pokemon. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Oh, yeah. With this, you have officially attained the rank of full star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now. And I present you with these. We've got 20 rare candies, 10 grit rocks. You have reached the highest possible rank within the Galaxy Expedition Team. Continue to carry out all your duties with the dignity expected from one of your rank. You have reached the highest possible rank. So I guess that's it. We complete. We have reached the highest rank in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hello, Professor. Ah, oh, you're here, smashing. I'll crack on with the big announcement then, shall I? Sure. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, thank you all so much for gathering here at my behest. We have some rather special news to share, so please lend us your ears if, you're so, if you'd be so kind. Today marks the fulfillment of a long-held dream of mine, and the fruition of the most earnest efforts of the entire Survey Corps. Yes indeed, for you see, the Pokedex, our Corps' magnum opus, is finally, at long last, COMPLETE! Is this true? This fantastic achievement wouldn't have been possible if not for the hard work, no, the heroic efforts of our very own Eric. From his quelling of the frenzied Lord, Lord Cleaver, all the way up to his battle against the Alga and Palkia atop mighty Mount Coronet, he tirelessly surveyed the Pokémon of this land while facing perils of the sort that would send most of us running for the hills. All this has led to our accomplishing what can only be described as a remarkable triumph of human effort. The completion of a Pokedex. So, Eric, you're still very much a mysterious stranger who fell from the sky. And I know not whether your actions were motivated by your own curiosity or a genuine desire to help the people of our village. But it doesn't matter. You have been a great asset to us, and I am truly grateful for everything you have done. Perhaps I should also study under the Professor, so I might learn more about Pokémon. Silene is quite capable of handling the duties of Commander, I am sure. Mendable work. In recognition of your effort, I present you with this shiny charm. With that, we obtain the shiny charm! 
A charm that shines with a mysterious light. It is said to increase the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild. Tonight's potato mochi are my treat. I'll make them extra tasty. In celebration of Eric and the Survey Corps' great achievement, everyone feasted and danced till dawn, light, to the, uh, light in the sky. The next day. Yesterday was incredible, wasn't it? Everyone was so thrilled with our work. But I don't believe our Pokemon surveying work ends here. I'd like to try my hand at developing new crafting recipes and techniques, too. Wherever our research takes us, I look forward to sharing our discoveries together. So with that, we have completed the Pokedex. That is crazy. And we obtained the Shiny Charm. But yeah, the Pokedex is now complete. Craziness. Um, so that is, that is nuts. Not only did we catch them all, we researched them all. We did it. All right, that being said, I think it's about time that we go check out what is going on here at the training grounds. Um, hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Did you need something from me? Wait a minute, we never actually did anything here, did we? We can learn new moves. So which of your Pokemon want to learn new moves? I wonder which moves... Oshawa, can you learn anything? Ice Beam, that's an option. Sure, why not? Let's learn Ice Beam! Alright, Oshawott just gained Ice Beam access. That's cool. Um, Billy, is there anything you can learn? Elemental Punches, that's an option. Drain Punch. You know what? I kind of want you to learn Drain Punch. Um, I mean, elemental punches, I suppose, would be good, but let's stick with rain punch for now, and we'll see how that goes. Poison jab's an option. We don't really need Zen Heva because we have Psycho Cut. Um... Garchomp, can you learn anything? Fire Fang? You know what? Fire Fang's an option. This way we would have fire coverage on our team. You know what? I say why not. I don't think we need Outrage and Dragon Claw. Uh, do we need Rock Slide? You know what? Rock coverage probably wouldn't be bad. Iron Head for Fairies. You know what? Let's just do it. Ursaring, you can learn Fire Punch. We got options. Even Luxio can... Hmm. I mean, I don't really think we need rest. You know what? I'm gonna add Fire Fang to your repertoire. In fact, you know what? I'm also gonna add Ice Fang. I might not actually teach you it, but it's an option. And Shaman, can you learn moves? You also have options. Interesting. 
quite interesting. All right. Well, might as well give you ice beam. I mean, your special attack is better, so yeah. There you go. You don't really need Aqua Tail. You probably don't really need Slash, to be honest. But I'm just going to hold on to it in case, you know, we face something like Water type or something. Alright. Elemental Fangs. Maybe Fire Fang for now. I kind of want to hold on to Wild Charge just in case we need to do more damage. No, no. Uh, not that. Let's see. You can definitely Drain Punch. Um... I mean, CC, I guess, is an option if we need to, uh... If we need to just hit really hard. Uh, Fire Fang versus Rock Slide. You know what, I'll go Rock Slide. We got other Fire-type users. Is Earthquake not in the game? I guess Earthquake's just not available. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Um... Fair enough, we got some new moves. Hey there, Ingo. Commander Kamado requested that I provide new formats for battling, and I complied. Enjoy these new avenues for demonstrating your skill. Which would you like to attempt? There are regular Pokemon battles, Path of Tenacity, Path of Solitude, Select Pokemon? Let's try a regular Pokemon battle. I can call someone for you to battle if you would like. Who can I conduct here? Um... You know what? Let's start with... How many options are there? Wow, there's a lot of people we can battle, aren't there? In you Ingo, you Ingo but tougher. That's funny. Alright. You know what? Let's just go through the list. Let's start with Wenton and work our way down. Ooh, the prospect of battling someone with your talent has me shaking, but feeling honored as well. Alright, so Survey Corps went in and challenged us to a battle. Alright, so you got Mothim. Oh, we don't have Ice Beam Mastered. That's sad. Alright. Guess we're just going for Ice Beam. <laughs> Alright. Mothin's down. Next up, Jolteon. Double A. Interesting you didn't go for an electric move. Oh, you are. Why do you get two hits? That's... Come on. Come on. That's... That's just cheap. That is a cheap, cheap way to go about doing this, you know. I'm just gonna high horse power. Alright, Jolteon's down. Next up is Gastrodon. I'm gonna go for a strong slash. If you take me down, you take me down. What can I say? Oh, okay, you got the both. Sludge Bomb. No poison. Hydro Pump. Alright. Take down with a slash. Cool. Alright, Gastrodon is down. 
battle decided. Your Pokemon are simply unstoppable. Alright. Cool. Your consummate battling has taught me what truly really matters. It's not winning or losing, it's working in harmony with your Pokemon. Alright. So, let's battle the next person. Next up is Bren. One glimpse is enough to understand just how much strength you and your Pokemon wield. Alright, let's go. So, Survey Corps, a uh, Security Corps Bren challenged us to a battle. So, just leading off Wormadam, that is... You know what? You know what? We could spin this. We could spin it. It's not good, but we do outspeed. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Let's go. Oshawott for the win. Alright, next up is Sylveon. You're gonna play rough. That's fine. Who can take... No one can. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it has to be this way, Oshawott. I'm really sorry, but you're just gonna have to go for a strong Hydro Pump. It's... Sylveon is gonna eat it up, but... I should've gone for an Agile move. I should've gone for an Agile move, although we probably would've gotten hit twice anyway, so... Whatever. That's fine. You know what? Let's go... Let's go Ursaring. I'm gonna go for an Agile Aerial Ace. I think that's probably gonna get us the most likely option to attack first against the last Pokemon. So Sylveon is going down. Next up is Gastrodon, but West Sea this time. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go for an Agile Slash. This way we're only gonna get hit once. Because I think an Agile one plus a strong one should, oh, that was that a crit? No, it just did that much damage. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We don't even need to go for a strong one. A normal slash will do it. Alright, and Gastrodon is down. Alright. The way you battle with your Pokemon, your skill is peerless. Alright, so we're getting some experience. Awesome. I suspect you and your Pokemon will only grow stronger yet, so I must train diligently for my part as well. Alright. Next! Uh, Zizu. Let's go. Hey, it's me, Zizu. We can skip the introductions, right? Alright, so Security Corps Zizu challenged us to a battle. Alright, so she's leading off with Ambipom. She's getting that Thunder Fang, uh, that Thunder Punch off. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch into Garchomp here because she might actually... I don't know, does she have to lock in her move first? Before oh she didn't anyway. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'm gonna go for an Agile Dragon Claw because I don't think we're gonna kill. Even with a strong style. Never mind, we crit. The Agile move killed. Perfect. That couldn't have gone much better. Alright, next up is Lux, right? That is absolutely perfect for us. Never mind, she's gonna play rough, although she can't hit us twice. We just went for an agile move. If that killed, I if I would have called hacks. If she would have actually hit us twice right after we used an Agile move, I would have called hacks. Alright. Bulldoze, strong style. Goodbye, Luxray. You're going down. You're not taking it. Probably you need to go for a strong style move, but I don't really want to risk taking a uh, play another player off of the face. Next up is Honchkrow. Um, that's fine. Icy Wind. Uh, that sucks. Okay. Um, Rock Slide. 
super effective. I think that should kill. All right, Hans Crow's down, but whatever she sends in is going to take down Garchomp. Uh, she is sending in Zoroark. Okay, so Shadow Sneak, it's overlit. Uh, never mind. Never mind, she gets two hits. Okay. Yeah, she gets two hits. That's, that's gonna kill. That's just straight up gonna kill. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, Luxio, you can handle this. Just crunch it. Just, you know, crunch, and that thing's going down. Some strong style, if you really want, just to, just to lock it in, but I'm pretty sure we would have KO'd anyway. There we go. Perfect. Oh, effect! Alright, so with that, battle decided! Well now, I didn't expect that. And with that, Earth's ring to level 100. Cool. It seems like I was teaching you about Agile style and Strong style only yesterday, but now you're a true hero of Hisui. Alright, who's next? Akari. Alright, let's go. Here I am, get ready to face my full power. Alright, is she leading off Pikachu? Survey Corps Akari, leading off Clefairy. Interesting. Alright, and we're leading off Garchomp now because... Why are we leading off Garchomp now? Huh. Well, it's Kismet. Iron Head. <laughs> Alright, Clefairy's down. Um, I mean, I guess technically she has she had an advantage there, but, you know. Alright, Pikachu can't- we pretty much wall Pikachu. Never mind, let's play rough. I take back what I said about us walling Pikachu. But Pikachu is down nonetheless. All right, next up, Star After. Brave Bird, that is one brave bird right there. Okay. We're gonna have to Rock Slide. Uh, we're landing it, that should okay. Star After is down. All right, next up, Infernape. Assuming that we take a hit from it. CC, I don't think we're taking that. Oh, we are taking it. Doesn't matter. She's probably gonna. Oh, she's not getting another hit. Well, with the minus defenses, I'm pretty sure Bulldoze is gonna take down the Infernape. Yeah, pretty easily. Um, fair enough. So her final Pokemon, Mr. Mime, is gonna take down Garchomp. Never mind. It's not. We're gonna get a chance to Iron Head and goodbye, Mr. Mime. We're just gonna sweep. I mean, we are using a pseudo legendary, so I mean. You know. <laughs> I guess doing research tasks and learning is one thing, and using that knowledge is, well, is another. Alright. Thanks for, for a fine battle. I think I understand Pikachu and the others a bit better now, and vice versa. Battling certainly has its merits. Perhaps. Well, you know what? Let's do one more. Let's battle Kamado. Um, I've donned his, this traditional Galarian armor, and I trust you know what that means. I ain't holding nothing back for this battle. Alright, let's go. So, Galaxy Team's Kamado challenged us to a battle. Alright. I'm anticipating this one to be an actual challenge. So, it's a shame we're not leading off Oshawott this time. Would've been nice. Alright, that's okay. Um... I'm just gonna bulldoze. I'm just gonna bulldoze. I think it should live. Yeah, it is gonna live, so if we would've gone for... If we would've gone for... A strong move we would have KO'd. But you know what? This way I'm gonna kill it with an agile move. So we should only get hit by one attack from the next Pokemon. So alright, bring it in Snorlax. Not what I like seeing. Giga Impact. 
Dude, come on! Alright, we get three hits. Alright, let's just Dragon Fall. No reason to get fancy with it. <laughs> Alright, this little axe is down. Next up, bring it in Clefable. Oh no, you're gonna Moonblast us. Or you're gonna Calm Mind first. Oh, you wanna mess with me. Alright. Well, what you gonna do next? I obviously have the Iron Head. Flinching is not a thing. So you're gonna Moonblast me. Strong Moonblast, right? Draining Kiss. That's debatably worse. Wow. Okay, do we even have anything for this? Oh my goodness. Alright, we got problems here. Alright, Shaman. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna go for an Agile one. This one, we get two extra hits. Alright. A seed player. Now we get one more hit in with Energy Ball. Goodbye, Clefable. Alright. Alright, so Shaman's got that. Next up, Braviary. That is not good. You're gonna get, like, Brave for No, Air Slash. Can you get another hit in? That's gonna kill. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Luxio. I'm not gonna sack Shame in here. Even though that probably would have been the safer play. But. Alright, I'm just gonna Thunder Fang. We're not gaining anything by going for an Agile move here. Um, ooh, we KO'd it anyway. Alright, cool. Pyrocross. Well. I mean, Fire Fang? Burn? Burn? No burn. Pin Missile. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, wait a minute, you only hit once because, right. Okay, this is resisted, but this way we don't miss. Alright. Perfect! Perfect. Battle decided! I would expect nothing less from a member of the Survey Corps. You understand Pokémon well. Alright. The way you battle, it's as if it is the culmination of all your Survey Corps work. Continue to improve your skills. Alright. But, you know what? Is there a way we can, like, master some moves? The seed of Mastery. There you go. Hiya! Alright, so Oshawott mastered Ice Beam. Perfect. Keep up the training. Alright, so that's how you do it. So you just give a seed of mastery and that's it. We have plenty of them. We can probably master more moves. Um, but yeah, so we got some more trainers we're going to be battling, I suppose. Uh, and I guess we will continue with our battling here at the Battlegrounds next time. So thank you for watching, as always. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue our adventure here in Pokemon Legends RKS. Goodbye.